Welcome to Ellis B. Feaster's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. WAVA Sports Time is 24. 24 in front of 7 and now with the latest on sports, here comes Maurice. Thank you, David. Hey, sports fans, what's wrong with our Capitals? The last night before last, actually the night before last. Wait, what'd you say, the last night before last? Don't be a pig and let me read my sport. Excuse me for living. The night before last, the Capitals lost to the Detroit Red Wings, and then last night they get thumped by the Toronto Maple Leafs. You've been thumped by the Toronto Maple Leafs, haven't you? Seriously, it's disgusting. Both those teams are wimpos. Incidentally, the score last night was Toronto 5, Washington 2. Our bullets didn't do much better. They were bested by the Indiana Pacers, 92 to 88. Let's all eat our Wheaties, fellas. That's got to be humiliating, Maurice, to lose to a team from Indiana. It is painful to get bested, let me tell you. The new coach of the Philadelphia Eagles is Buddy Ryan, former defensive coordinator for the Chicago Bears. I'm a fan of anyone with the name Buddy. <laughs> hey, Buddy. Hey, Buddy. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Anyway, uh, that's sports, ladies. And remember, the Lisa Hartman look is in. Tease your hair and make yourself look like a kitty cat. Back to you, David. <laughs> That was perfect. I'll tell you, Maurice. <laughs> what a punster. WAVA Washington weather. Hey, I love puns. They're fun. They're here's, here's the weather for today. Going to be partly sunny and windy with a high of 33. Tonight going to be partly cloudy of a light low 19. And tomorrow partly sunny, high of 40. What a beastly punster you are. <laughs> yeah. Winds are out of the northwest this morning at 14. The wind chill factor, minus 1. Mm. Temperatures, BWI has 19. Dallas has 18. National, 21. In America's greatest city. Burr. At 22. <laughs> 22 in front of 7. Mm. You got your long johns are, on this morning? What Maurice? are you two doing? What is this, you got your long, kind of code? Yeah, you got your long, I bet you got your long johns on this morning, Maurice. Yes, and they've got a very cute little paisley design. Dave, I have a special 20, message for you. 22 oh, in front of seven. The show. If you wouldn't interrupt the news, see, Don. Oh, yeah, could, yeah, you're sitting here chatting with Maurice for a minute. I'm At sorry. 22 in front of seven, <laughs> I'm David Haynes, 105 W. Oh. ABA. You know, Dave, if you and Maurice want to chat, we've got that beautiful lunchroom right down the hall. No, Have thanks. you seen Whitney Houston's new hair design? No. It's gorgeous. You like it, Don? She's got all sorts of curls and stuff, little speckles in it, little blonde streaks. It's gorgeous. She's a handsome woman. She is a handsome woman, if you like that sort of thing. 638 at WABA. And the world premiere of our very first record. Ah, yes. The Morning Zoo's rap song. Featuring the one and only Special K. We think you'll be liking it. Yeah. We'll be playing it uh -huh. at 20 to 7. All here 105 WABA. That's Whitney Houston at 642. That is switch. She is on to the new Morning Zoo. That is one gorgeous lady. Found at Mike with this morning's Walt Disney Word of the Day at about 10 after 7. Is it going to be one word or two words? Today? I haven't. I ha I'm teasing myself. I haven't looked at the word yet. Oh. I want the surprise just as the listeners oh. so I can share it with them. I love it when you tease yourself. <laughs> 10 after 7. Not now. Later. <laughs> Later. <laughs> 6.42. Yeah. At WAVA. Time now for America's favorite comedy feature. We like to call it Drugs Are Stupid. Three brand new stories this morning. First one comes from Boston. Yeah. Here's another report of a Patriots fan gone mad. Uh-oh. During the fourth quarter of last weekend's Super Bowl blowout, won by the Bears, 57-year-old Herdy Wilkinson of Framingham, Massachusetts. Herdy. Walked into the Jordan Marsh department store <laughs> and ordered everyone to leave the home entertainment center. <laughs> he then pulled out a semi-automatic rifle and blew out every television on the display floor, <laughs> all of which were showing the game. Oh, no. The man surrendered to police quietly and did over $20,000 damage in less than three minutes. Said he blamed it all on the New England Patriots. It's their fault. A man broke into the Mackworth Savings and Loan in Appleton, Wisconsin, and had it all planned out. He brought a grenade to open the bank safe and planned his getaway, but as he was making his way into the bank itself, he was trying to pick the lock on the bank's front door, and he realized he'd, he needed something thin to insert into the lock. He searched for a paper clip or a credit card, and finally, he pulled the pin from the grenade. It worked. He opened the door, but he forgot to replace the pin. <laughs> Yep, and he was blown to smithereens moments later. He will be jailed upon his recovery in a local hospital. 
Yeah. Oh, boy. A man had robbed the Shoe Land store in Lakeland, Florida, mm -hmm. when he decided that the take was just not enough. Yeah. So he knocked out the manager, bound and gagged him in the back of the store, Ooh. and went out front and worked the register in an effort to get more cash. <laughs> The crook's problem was he just did not know when to quit. He had waited on over 30 customers and rung up over $400 in sales yeah. when a local policeman made his evening rounds and noticed that the regular manager was not on duty. <laughs> One thing led to another. The fellow was arrested, but he's planning on going straight after he is released from jail. Sure. He claimed the five hours he spent selling shoes were the five <laughs> best hours of his life, and he plans on trading in his gun for a shoehorn. <laughs> All you have just seen is true. Absolutely, yeah. The names were changed to protect the innocent. My eyes are uh, starting to tear up. Yeah, it's an emotional story. We're going to have to break. Please. I know. Quarter till seven. You know, all along, my friends kept to station. Oh, yeah. And again, at Nutley Street, headed inbound to the Capitol Beltway. But the lanes are open for you. Nutley! Yeah. Nutley! One of those names again. Nutley Street. Another <laughs> problem on Nutley Street. <laughs> Nutley Street. Nutley. Nutley. Nutley, I'm going to fire you. <laughs> There's that voice. Over one million drunk driving collisions occur every year in the United States. Don't let it happen to you. Think before you drink and drive. I'm Kim Anderson, WAVA Traffic. So, I'll meet you on the mm. corners of Wilson Boulevard and... <laughs> Please, street. <laughs> 647 uh, at WAVA. Where do you live? On Nutley street. street. Let's take a call, shall we? Hello? 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 A friend of mine just tell me that uh, I was listening to the radio this morning about uh, Don was wanting the country to call. Then a friend of mine was telling me that he called Sweet, and I had an idea in my mind coming to work. He says, it's a shame he couldn't call Lumar this morning. And ask him if he's going to be on, our, on his boat so he can find out the F-18s F are going out there and do a striping run. Now, wait, let me let me get this straight, sir. You want me to call Muhammad Gaddafi? Yeah, Muhammad. And then, then hope... Up. You want me to hope that he's out on his boat and we got some of those big loaded F-18 babies so he could blow his butt right out of the water? That's right. Those heat-seeking... Can you um, imagine that? Those heat-seeking... Uh, <laughs> heat-seeking <laughs> missiles? Yeah, the heat-seekers. Pop a couple of heat-seekers into his little flotilla. You know, maybe. Maybe yeah. we could just pull my... You know what, sir? Hey, Yo. sir? Yo. As you know, I drive a Chevy Blazer. I buy American. I drive that big four-wheel drive thing. You got a gun rack. I got a gun rack. Yeah. No, I don't have a gun rack. I have a cellular phone. You got a raccoon tail on your uh, little uh, I got the little, the little Exxon uh, tiger tail hanging from my gas tank. Good for you. I was wondering. I was thinking maybe we could all just get in my Chevy Blazer and just drive over there to Libya. Yeah. That truck will go through the through the water. Yeah, you're amphibious, ain't it? It'll blow his butt right away, sir. I'd like to take that Mohammar out, frankly. That Mohammar Gaddafi. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, buddy. Damn straight. What do you think, sir? I think that's wonderful. I do, too. I think we ought to blow him out of the water. You're right. God bless him. God bless America. That's right. Let's get some of those big old heat-seeking missiles. Yeah. Apple Yeah. Yeah. The and them FF, FF, F-18s. <laughs> and those, uh, that, that blinding glow from the back of your neck. Yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you for calling. Sure. Have a happy day. We'll see you. I love talking <laughs> like an American, don't you? I'd probably be American. <laughs> yeah. 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 Six. Forty-nine. <laughs> Cover me. Cover me. Smother me in onions and garlic sauce and then put me out in your barbecue. Yeah, linguine with white clam sauce. <laughs> linguine done the Don Geronimo. <laughs> Eight minutes until uh, 7 o'clock. It's going to be sunny and windy today with a high of 33. I can't figure out why the schools are opening late. I don't know. This is Washington, man. Anything can happen. Anytime anybody spits on a road, traffic goes to 25 miles per hour. We'll have the school closing information for you right after the latest by heart. Hit 105, WAVA, Jackie, 655. Your guy comes home and finds a hippie in bed with his wife. Oh. He yells, what the hell do you think you're doing? The hippie says, man, we're listening to the radio, man. <laughs> the guy says, I don't hear anything. The hippie says, that's because you ain't plugged in, man. <laughs> Whoa, Jackie. A little risque, Jackie. So Dirty Johnny walks up to a reverend and says, Hey, Misha, how come you're wearing your collar backwards? The reverend says, Because I'm a father. Johnny says, Yeah, well, my old man's got three kids, and he don't wear his collar backwards. The reverend says, Oh, oh no, you don't understand. I have thousands of children. Johnny says, yeah, you should wear your trousers back. <laughs> <laughs> nope. nope, man. Mania. With Jackie and Friends, Wednesday, February 19th at Chuckles Westside. Make your reservations now. You know what? Trousers. Yeah.
I see the joke, man. I would really, really, February 19th, I would like to see if we could take some of our listeners up to New York. Up to Chuckles? To Chuckles to see Jackie the Joke Man Jackie live. Jackie the Joke Man. Would that be wild? Be worth it, wouldn't it? We should talk to uh, Commandant Clink about that today. Let's see if we can see if he could fork over the bucks for that. All right. Six, six fifty six at WAVA. <laughs> With the morning zoo. That's what I want to do. Yeah. Should wear his trousers backwards. What, what, da what date is that? February 19th that's at Chuckles. Yeah, that's what I want to do on Chuckles February 19th. in New York. And what are you doing? Going to Chuckles in New York. See Jackie the Joke Man. Yeah. Three minutes until seven. David Haynes will have your school closing information in one minute. On the new morning zoo. Choose a career. Thank you, Washington Business School singers. 658 WAVA David Haynes. Morning. Coming up after your news and the school information, two important things. We'll give you our winning phone booth location this morning and... The world premiere of the Morning Zoo's Wrap. Yeah. yeah. Coming up. Coming up. But first, give us that school information. Many suburban schools are opening a little later. Oh, gosh. Do it. WAVA at 704. Four after seven. There hey. we go again. Hey, what's going on there? What's there. going on in your, in your little newsroom, Dave? Hello. There we there go. There you go. Back yeah. in both channels. You know, never let it be said that David Haynes has a channel missing, okay? Yeah, he's, he's got that good technical way about him. <laughs> David, Hello. just tap the underneath underneath the board. Just believe. reach under that metal box and just tap it. WAVA, a division of there. Tandy Company. I'll just work on another microphone here. It's like when your microphone goes out in there, <coughs> we got another mic in here, see? Yeah. yeah. All right. Hold on, Dave. Yeah. Stand by. I believe we're going to go via remote microphone to the right. WAVA engineering staff. Who are you? <laughs> Hold on. I believe that they're Wait working. Wait a minute. On. You lame brains can't do anything right, can you? Get up over here. Come on. Get over there. You come over here. Uh, they're working on it, Dave. Now, get to work. There you go. Just a second. Let me have that wrench. Let me have it, you imbeciles. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. It should be all fixed now, Dave. Let's see. I put it in a rubber band over here and there a tinker toy in there, and it's fixed. All right. How much snow did we get? One to two inches fell around the Washington area yesterday. One inch at National Snow You would better believe it's big. AVA. Thank you, Dave. You'll have another uh, update on the schools when? Yeah, in half an hour. Half an hour. Uh, WAVA, Arlington, Washington, Maryland, Virginia's hottest hits. The Moo, the Moo, the Moo Norning Zoo. The Moo Norning Zoo. With yes. our brand new song. We hope you're going to dig it. It's a world premiere. Don and Mike. Yeah. Salute Special K. What a guy. And the NBC Orchestra. <laughs> Here's the morning zoo rap. Make the switch, everybody, to the station that's just for you. Cause I'm Special K, and I'm here to rap about the new morning zoo. I say 5.30 comes a.m. in the morning time. That's when the new zoo begins. At the very same time, I say every single day after the wide zoo, you get drop-ins. The new morning zoo. Just for you, just for you, just for you, break down. Schnitt. Schnitt. Are you the kind of woman who treats herself like a man? Hey, bud. Let's party. No one else could be doing anything this disgusting. Do I feel lucky? I'm a nerd. Well, not Geronimo's the man behind the master plan. He picks up all the slack. Michael Mara is the kind of white colleagues. He emails Geronimo's the hat, St. Jack. Now, that's a little joke. I should have said on coke about the role of Michael Mara. But he does every voice, so I say we haven't talked about who we bring on our show. You think we call Elvis and you think we call the Pope, but ha, uh, that's just a little joke. Say, now about a month ago, I dialed seven digits. 432 WABA. And I heard hello, so I said hello. Ha, ha. Okay, so I lay a little job like a licking and a sticking, and you said, say what? Like a Popeye chicken, and that's how I got on the show. The new morning zoo just for you break down. Well, hello, you're rapping with the king. This is Arnold. And Saul. And my good friend, Bing. Hey, it's Jim. Hey, Natowski. And the party of JP2. This is your doctor of love, Bob Gucci, on the new morning zoo. Now we got a guy of a different sort. It's so nasty, but I'll give it to you straight, no pun intended, with the bullet skins and patties. Well, Ron goes to coffee while you slept last night. Every day you hear the words the same. Please call him Mr. Doe, where's Bobby? Yes, sir. Don't call him Dave, his name is David Haynes, the new morning zoo. Just for you, just for you, just for you, break down. Huh. Thank you. Special K, what's wrong with polyester? Why, back in the good old days, you'd never hear Twisted Sister. The news is more important. It changes every day. I know I'm Mr. News and Comment on WAVA. Well, I produce 
the man is John Nolan. John Nolan, John Nolan. He helps the show in every way he can. Just for you, just for you, just for you. Break down, we forget about Kim if I was drunken off the gin. Hey, hey. Boo. 